11. Do you have any beliefs or practices that are abnormal or bizarre? I would say, again, that we don't have any beliefs or practices um, that are abnormal or bizarre. But again, it def dep depends upon a person's definition of abnormal or bizarre. A lot of people on the planet believe that feeling an emotion is abnormal. And, and so if feeling an emotion is abnormal for you, then you will certainly believe that when we feel our emotion that we are being abnormal. My feelings is that no, every single little child who enters this planet is able to feel its emotions perfectly, so that's normal, and then what we turn it into being is something abnormal. So I feel what, defi what is defined as normal or abnormal, bizarre or acceptable, it just almost completely depends upon what somebody has been brought up with over their life. Most people would suggest that getting a baby at a certain age and then cutting off its, uh, its flesh around its penis, which is what happens at circumcision, is a pretty abnormal uh, thing to do. But then there's other people who believe that it's a part of their life and has been a part of their life for thousands of years. And so they believe it's the normal thing to do. There are other practices such as getting a child who's only a few days old and sprinkling it with water and saying now that it's now baptised and therefore saved is a pretty abnormal practice. Whereas other people, in fact over a billion and a half people on this planet, generally practice that with every one of their children that they have. So, so I believe there are many practices that happen in religious practice that, that any other person observing could say that's pretty abnormal, but which the people involved feel is pretty normal because they've been brought up with that particular practice. We do not engage in any of those practices. However, we do feel our emotions like a child would, and we do have a desire for God that, that, because that's a part of having a relationship with God. And we do examine ourselves a lot like, because we're quite humble and we want to examine ourselves a lot. And if a person believes all of those practices are abnormal, then so be it. I don't believe they're abnormal. I think that's part of being what I would classify to be a good or a righteous person.